All right, guys, what is up? Fat Moose here with another video. Now, guys, today originally I thought it was going to be just a normal news day. I thought it was going to be a normal, just regular old day. And then Keemstar dropped the fucking ball. Let's be honest. Okay, so, I mean, everyone knows Keemstar has always had people under heat with him, under fire. He's always been under fire. He is known for starting some drama. He is quite the man for drama. Thus, the Drama Alert channel. Maybe a little bit more than a name for a channel, maybe more of what he actually is. An alert to say that Keemstar likes to start some drama, guys. Now, what we know so far is that Pyrocynical and Grade A under A are part of this. But, guys, I mean, I, I just, I can't believe this. There's so much going on. I mean, Leafy could be part of this. I guarantee we might hear something from Leafy about this coming up in coming days. Now, Keemstar seems to say that there's going to be a huge attack from the weekend. I... The way it sounds is there's at least five more to me. I mean, guys, I don't know who it could be. I don't know what we're going to hear from. Are we going to hear from PewDiePie? Probably not, but Pyrus Cynical's video, guys, I mean, it it's kind of blown up, and Keemstar seems very upset in his video, so we have no clue where this is going to go. For those of you who did not see Keemstar's video, go look it up. He's actually quite upset, quite shattered by it, but at first I was kind of like, hmm, He's going to be attacked. He's saying here these things that just sound like I want to feel bad for him. But then I go watch Pyrocynical's video where he has grade A under A make an appearance in it as well and make comments. And I come to feel that one cannot side with Keemstar necessarily in this event. As Keemstar is doing things that may be borderline, if not definitely are, crossing the line in the YouTube community with him releasing personal information a Pyrocynical and other things like that with him backstabbing basically lying about things about Pyro and creating drama that isn't really there just for the sake of views it seems like it seems like he just wants to start drama so maybe guys this is not me saying that Keemstar is innocent or guilty but maybe drama alert is just more is more than a name maybe it's to alert us maybe it was a foreshadowing that he was giving everyone to say hey guess what I'm alerting you, I'm the drama. Keemstar, guys, to me, I love his videos, but every time you turn around, he is always starting drama in the community, guys. And this is just the start. We'll be seeing what else comes to play in this, but we shall see, and I'll let everyone know. I'll keep everyone updated on the situation. This is a huge situation right now in the community. But we'll go on to another topic, guys. The next topic we're actually going to talk about here is a crazy one to me. And it's actually going to be about this little robot I found out about that Google created. And it's kind of a funny story. Google created a robot that played Tetris. And its whole goal in life, in its living, in itself, was to play Tetris and never lose. Well, after a while being around, this robot not only figured out how to not lose it can guarantee itself not to lose I didn't say now it could guarantee itself to win though this is the thing this is where this gets really interesting everyone this robot itself figures out if it pauses itself when it's going to lose it'll never lose so there it never loses it never wins but it never loses so there you go guys that's a story I just found hilarious right there I mean a robot that decided to pause itself just because it doesn't want to lose now I have one more story I'd actually like to talk about and it involves a robbery in a McDonald's that was in France actually now I don't know the exact group of who these people were but two robbers in a McDonald's in France actually go and try to rob a McDonald's they get away with some of the money at first but this is not before they find this is not before the people inside 40 people at the time 11 of whom turn out to be a counter terrorist well trained foreign group that are specifically trained in combat hand to hand combat and to kick ass basically guys and these robbers probably got the surprise of their life when they went to rob this McDonald's and get beat the fuck up by just random people they had no clue were probably the biggest badasses in the whole world now guys I hope you enjoyed today's video there's a lot of drama going on and I want to cover more of the Keemstar stuff later I'll be on it as best as I can. Now, guys, I hope you have a good night. I'll see you again next time.